Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is April from 33 and above and before we get started I wanted to make a few notes. Please know these messages are general so if you're interested in booking a private reading the information is below. Also these messages are timeless so regardless of when you watch this video it can apply past, present, or future. Um, also check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. What is going on with Gemini? What's going on with you, Gemini? Apparently a lot. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Eight of Swords. It was in reverse. So we have... Um, Someone who's going through some things. Someone who is uh, feeling like they're, they're carrying too much. They're feeling a bit overwhelmed. How can I release this burden? Someone's feeling locked away. And dealing with regrets. Someone's hiding from people. Um, I'm getting if people always want something from me. Why every time this person comes to me, they always want something from me. But there is an ending to this. It's going to feel like you can release. You're going to be more in tune with your emotions. There's also, I'm getting a mother, motherly figure that's going to help you. But someone is definitely overextending themselves. And they're trying to achieve something new. It's like, I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again. I need newness in my life. I need something new. Someone is a psychic. An empath. Someone is also seeking advice from a psychic. Someone's getting information. Trying to figure out more about their situation. It's like this motherly figure steps in. And helps relieve the stress. Someone's having um, some issues with their family. Getting someone's looking to move. They're in a the process of moving. So someone's maybe going out looking for places. I see in a car. I get that there is some restriction regarding movement for someone. So I'm getting I'm I'm getting multiple energies here. Someone's actually moving, moving, movement. And then there's someone who's actually feeling stuck. It's like someone's thinking, I'm always, I always get stuck with this. I'm always the one carrying this. Why can't someone else do it for a change? I need to remove these restrictions and I need help. And if you do need help, don't feel like you can't get it. 
everyone needs help. Psychics go to help too. <laughs> they have they get help. We get help from our guides, direct connections. But we also get help from the earthly plane, people who who are just like us, right? Who who've been through things. I always like to think that I would want to get help from someone who who's been through it as well. Because there's that common bond. If you haven't been through anything, I can't see you. <laughs> if you haven't been through the trenches, you may not be a good therapist or, you know, psychic. Who knows what who someone's going to. But it's someone who can understand them. This person may be coming to you. They're wanting to know more information about someone who was removed from their lives. Like, I need closure. I need some sort of closure. I need some sort of information that can help me. It's like too many irons in the fire, but no one's helping. And you're like, you know what? I'm bringing this to her. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to push it on this person, but I'm going to, I need that cup. <laughs> I need that cup. I need someone who's going to help me and help me fill my own cup because this person's very motherly. She's very intuitive. There you go. That was a confirmation. This person's very intuitive. And there's nothing that can get past this person. This person brings emotional security. This person brings a bit of self-love to the to the mix self they they tell they teach people how to love themselves they can tell someone how to love themselves they're very generous they like to to give to others and they have their own cup to give it's like this person drinks from their own cup but they have more for others they have more that can that can help people this person wants a, a truce between, there's a, a feminine energy. This person wants a truce. They want things to be smoother. And they're doing things to try to fix it. They are. When you're feeling like you don't have a lot of power in your hands to. Do how to be how you were before, before you felt like you lost the power. Right. We always hold the power in ourselves. You know. It's just a matter of us finding it. It's always, it, it exists there, always, even when you don't feel like it. It's a matter of you pulling from it. But this person wants to gain back their power. And I don't feel like it's in a malicious way. It's, uh, I want to get back to myself. Someone's doing some walking, getting their walk in. They're not letting themselves be trapped. 
You're like, I'm going to go outside for this walk. <laughs> It's I am um, wanting to be more free. It's like this person's willing to drop all these wands because it's too much. They're like, I'd rather just pick up each wand one by one. Let me drop them and let me tend to this thing one at a time. Let me tend to that instead of carrying all this burden. I feel like someone's also carrying a lot of secrets that are bombarding them. Like it's 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 making them feel like it's too much to hold on to when it comes to these secrets. It's like someone needs to see a therapist to get this off of their chest because there's a lot that they're carrying. And they're trying to get through that. And they will. This person has a lot to, to get off their chest and they need, it's, it's making them feel like this. Oops. Okay, this card is trying to get out of my hand. Like, like, like that, it's making them feel like they're just dropping stuff. Not in intentionally, it's unintentionally. That's not a good feeling. When you know you have to let go, but you're afraid to let go of the things that are hurting you. This person feels like they are just entrapped. There's some sort of entrapment yeah. <sighs> well, they're getting help, so that's a good sign. Someone's getting help, and it's going to help with these Ten of Wands and Ten of, ten of um, Swords. All right. So that was your reading, Gemini. Hope these messages resonated with you. Um, if you'd like to book a, a, a session, the information is below. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.